So the Leafs have traded Nikita Sashnikov to the St. Louis Blues for a fourth round pick in 2019. This happened yesterday and I didn't make a video on it because I thought that there was more to this trade than just a pick, but now I realize that no, there is not going to be and I'm okay with that. It was an uh, emotional ride to get to this point and I will take you through that, but I'm gonna give you some facts first and then we'll talk about that towards the end. Before he was traded, Sashnikov was on injury reserve. Now a lot of people question if he was actually hurt or not, but that, I'm not gonna get into that. So like I said, we got a fourth round pick in 2019, which I thought was a little bit, kinda not enough for me, but I, I understand a bunch of reasons is why I think this is okay now. Number one, this is probably the biggest reason that I'm, I'm happy with this deal, is that uh, Sashnikov had a clause in his contract that said that he could go to the KHL whenever he wanted if he was in the Marlies or not called up. Basically, if he's not playing on the Leafs, he could leave at any time. And I remember I read about this clause so long ago and I was like, wow, that's, I can't believe we took a contract with that. And how would you ever get rid of a contract like that? Well, like this. Number two, he was undrafted when we signed him. So to have an undrafted guy who's played in the Marlies, he's played a few, a handful of games in the NHL, get you a fourth round draft pick, that's pretty good. And number three is we really just had too many good players. We still do, but this is like solving a problem. Our depth has actually been creating problems for us. The rumors that Levo has requested a trade because, or demanded a trade because he hasn't been playing at all and he wants to play. But there's just literally not enough space on the team for him to come up. So this is kind of solving that problem um, and making Levo the number one guy to call up instead of being Sashnikov or Kapanen, Sashnikov, Levo. Now it's like Kapanen's up, it would be Sashnikov next. Take him out of the equation, Levo. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. They, they, in the next few hours, in the next few days, they could be making a deal to move Levo. But for right now, that's what I'm thinking. I really liked Soshnikov, and I'm, I was very surprised by this last night, which is why another reason why I waited till today to make this video. I was super surprised, I think, because just the night before when we were watching the game, my siblings and I, we were saying, wow, you know what? Soshnikov is definitely going to be on the team next year. They're just holding him back until next year. He knows he gets it. He's going to be on the team next year. We were so wrong, and that's why when I read about this, I was so surprised. I really could not believe that Soshnikov got traded. But I get it, we need to move some guys, but fuck. So now the Leafs are only carrying 49 contracts, which gives us a little bit of wiggle room. I'm not sure if they just did this trade to make room for Levo or whoever, or if they have some ulterior motive right now that I'm not seeing. You can ask, are they gonna move JVR? You only played 10 minutes the other night. Is that just the beginning of something, of, of moving him? Maybe Matt Martin, who's a healthy scratch, maybe he's gone next. Or maybe they are going to move Levo. It's gonna be an interesting 10 days. And maybe we'll do nothing, but there's that like feeling that they might, and that's enough to freak me out. But once again, I trust the Shanna plan. I, I have faith that they'll do what's right. I think overall, it's a very weird feeling to get used to having too many good players, not enough space for the good players. And if you're a fan of the St. Louis Blues, I think that this worked out for both of us equally. I don't really think anyone won this trade or lost it. I think it was just like mutually benefiting, which is actually good. You don't see that very often. If we didn't have to get rid of him, I wouldn't have because I, I would have liked to see him on our team in the NHL, but our NHL team just cannot hold him. So at least he's playing somewhere and I'm happy about that. Well, I hope he's playing somewhere. I hope they play him. There's those of you who could argue that we could have traded Komarov, we could have traded Matt Martin, we could have traded a bunch of different guys to get Sashnikov up. But right now, I don't think they're gonna trade a known NHLer, even a veteran, for this guy who has not played a bunch of NHL games and we're going into the later half of the season where you're almost at the playoffs, you're not gonna bring up some guy who hasn't played and trust him to play those games. Maybe at the beginning of the season, but not now. We could have lost him to the KHL, so I think we have gotten what we deserved for him, I guess. I would have liked to see a little bit more, but I think this, especially with that clause in his contract, I really think that we dodged a bullet with that. 